Gina Jennings boldly takes a stand against T.D. Jakes with his direct and fearless approach to preaching. Jennings does not shy away from challenging Jakes, urging him to denounce homosexuality publicly. Furthermore, Jennings takes issue with Jake's friendship with P. Diddy and his presence at the rapper's gatherings. You see these preachers mixing with celebrities. Indeed, they're spotted with T.D. Jakes at Puff Daddy celebrations. Astonishing! There's Jakes amidst a party hosted by Puff Daddy, surrounded by dancing, leaping, twerking crowds, yet he remains seated. My applause, goodness, not a word from him about the conduct there. Is this what they consider preaching? You say we're too radical. But the real extremes are the paths to heaven or hell. Exactly. It's either God's path or none at all. You're either with God or against him. Exactly. You either embrace God's teachings or reject them. You stand with God or you ally with the devil. Precisely. T.D. Jakes, feeling targeted by Jennings' sermons, responded with an email voicing his discontent, revealing that he and other prominent figures had reached out to the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, aiming to halt Jennings' broadcasts. In a bold move, Jennings countered with a proposition for Jakes, challenging him to a public debate to hash out their divergent viewpoints. T.D. Jakes sent us, directly to me, an email, indeed, expressing his dissatisfaction with my sermons. He shared that he and other notable leaders had approached the FCC to get our show banned. Incredible. Our media team replied with a proposition far better than silencing us. We suggested an open debate instead. Precisely. Their confrontation escalates amid the looming threat of regulatory action instigated by Jakes, following accusations linking Jakes and P. Diddy. Jakes communicated to his followers that his responsibilities are too significant to entertain baseless accusations, asserting his focus lies beyond such distractions. I've never claimed to be without fault. We all have our shortcomings and mistakes. It's futile to dwell on what can't be changed. He stressed that despite the chatter surrounding P. Diddy, his attention is on more critical issues, aiming to progress rather than linger on past events. There's too much talk about past deeds. I'm not fixated on that. In my lengthy preaching career, I have never disparaged anyone. No name has ever been tarnished by my words. While acknowledging the gossip about P. Diddy, Jakes clarified his main concern is tackling significant challenges in his life, dismissing the rumors as unfounded, especially considering his age. Such foolish gossip belongs to the young, unaware of the truth. It's absurd for someone of 66 to be implicated in such rumors. Jakes encouraged his followers to concentrate on their collective mission and the positive change they can affect together, focusing on growth and introspection. He committed to overcoming personal flaws while dedicating himself to the welfare of the community and their shared principles. On Monday, December 18th, speculation arose following a tough news TV broadcast implying Jake's involvement in questionable activities with Diddy, including same-gender relations and inappropriate conduct with a minor. In a heartfelt address to his congregation, Jake's clarified he would not dignify falsehoods from the pulpit but would continue to preach the truth. He stated his intent to remain truthful to his vocation, despite the baseless allegations circulating on social media regarding his attendance at Diddy's events, with his team categorically denying these rumors as entirely unfounded. Despite the turmoil and controversy stirred by the allegations and the public spat between Gino Jennings and T.D. Jakes, the focus remains steadfast on integrity and truthfulness. Jakes, in his communications with his congregation, stressed his unwavering commitment to truth, eschewing the defense of falsehoods from the pulpit and maintaining his dedication to his spiritual mission. This situation illuminates the broader implications and potential harm that allegations of sexual misconduct by religious figures like T.D. Jakes can inflict on individuals, communities, and the perception of religious institutions as a whole. Such allegations can devastate trust and moral authority, causing congregants to become disillusioned and potentially leading to a decline in faith and participation in the religious community. The negative ripple effects extend beyond the immediate circle, potentially deterring new members and impacting the religious organization's reputation on a larger scale. This can reinforce negative stereotypes and fuel skepticism towards organized religion, undermining the community's ability to provide guidance and support. The emotional and psychological toll on the victims of alleged misconduct is significant often compounded by societal power imbalances that hinder justice. Attempts to conceal these allegations can further entrench a culture of silence, 
exacerbating the victim's plight and challenging the credibility of their claims. Financially, the fallout from such scandals can be severe for the organizations involved, with decreased attendance and support leading to resource constraints. Moreover, if individuals like P. Diddy are legally proven guilty of sexual misconduct, they face significant legal repercussions, including imprisonment, underscoring that no one is above the law. The contention between Jennings and Jakes, coupled with the allegations involving Jakes and Diddy, weaves a complex narrative of controversy and moral questioning. The potential for regulatory involvement, public debate, and the emotional stakes for all parties highlights the intricate dynamics at play. The ensuing discourse serves as a poignant reminder of the critical need for transparency, accountability, and ethical leadership within religious institutions to safeguard trust and uphold their foundational values. Concluding on a note of reflection and aspiration, the video underscores the imperative of striving towards spiritual adherence and ethical integrity. The call to action for viewers to engage through likes, subscriptions, and notifications serves as an invitation to join in a collective journey of faith and moral fortitude. The narrative, while rooted in controversy, ultimately points towards the importance of navigating challenges with a commitment to truth, justice, and the principles that underpin religious and community life.